Newbridge Domain debate owned by Fingal County Council for the benefit of the public is the only surviving intact 18th century domain in Dublin and one of the few remaining in the country. Of significance are the unaltered interiors and the collections of paintings, objects, furniture and furnishings that they contain and the stories they tell about the times they were made. One of these important interiors is the red drawing room or saloon. It was built as a set piece and has remained intact and unaltered. We know this because the Cobb family, former owners of Newbridge House, have an extensive archive of papers, including invoices and orders relating to the furnishing of the room. The room was designed for the enjoyment of art, so it has maximum wall space for paintings. It faces east with plenty of light and no dark spaces. The east elevation has a central bowed bay window, flanked either side by two large sash windows. These three windows are dressed with elaborate red curtains. These curtains were supplied by the Dublin firm of upholsterers and cabinet makers, Mac, Williams and Gibton in 1828. The pairs of curtains to the windows in the room, together with pelmets and tiebacks, have been in position ever since. By 2014, the curtains required conservation to stabilise and preserve them. They were showing severe effects of light and moth damage and also their age. The curtains are made from red silk damask, interlined with cotton domit, which is a kind of plain cloth with a cotton warp and a woolen weft, and lined with a plain weave red wool fabric. They're trimmed with a gold coloured silk and wool braid. The shaped pelmets, constructed from the same materials as the curtains, are gathered into box pleats with a gold-coloured damask rosette at the centre of each pleat. The curtains hang from a gilded wooden pole, which is shaped to fit the curve of the bay window, and the pelmets are lined with a gold, silk and wool bobble fringe. Tie backs are trimmed with a central rosette, the same as the pelmet, formed from gold-coloured wool and silk. The very poor condition of the curtains necessitated a difficult conservation project. The wool linings posed the biggest problem. We could have replaced them entirely with new linings, but it was felt more appropriate and right to keep as much as the original material as possible, given their rarity. So, what did we do? First, the curtains were photographed. All elements were gently surface cleaned. Matching silk fabric and bobbins were dyed the right colour. The conservators laid in silk support in behind the damask, stitched it in place using a fine polyester thread with lines of stitching to secure the splits. They patched any damage to the interlining using a matching fabric. And the wool linings were overlaid with dyed nylon bobbin net stitching it in around areas of loss. Worn areas of braid were replaced and a new cotton sateen lining was fitted and secured with stitching around the edges. And finally, all the layers were put back together. All of this was an incredible amount of work. It was carried out in phases over three years by Wiley and Singer conservators on the recommendation of Alec Cobb. This expensive project was generously funded by the Apollo Foundation with enabling funding from Fingal County Council. At the beginning of the project, I could hardly believe that these venerable curtains could be saved, but I'm so glad that the expert skill of the conservators proved otherwise, and they're now back in position for what I hope will be for another 200 years. <laughs>